This week, we've got this lovely looking 997 GT3 behind me. We've currently decontaminated it and taken the wheels off. And tomorrow, we're gonna to start the minor paint correction, as well as the ceramic coating on the bodywork and the ceramic coating on the wheels and the calipers. We seem to have a bit of a Porsche theme going on at the minute, but I'm certainly not complaining. Uh, behind me, you can see we've got the Heritage Edition Targa 4S, which we're currently working on. That's having the full PPF wrap as well as ceramic coatings everywhere that it can be done. We've also got the 997 GT3 that you may remember. A while back, we applied PPF to the front end and we coated all the car. So this one we've fully validated this week to see how the coating's been performing and no surprise, the dirt just flew off. It's a real breeze to clean, which is why I always recommend a ceramic coating on your car especially if you like to look after them yourself. But for now, we're gonna to stick to the 997 GT3. I'm gonna give it an initial paint inspection and I know it's not gonna be perfect. It's a 2007 Reg car and I'm sure it hasn't been driven lightly over the years. But nevertheless, we're gonna look over it and see if there's any areas we need to take extra care of on the polishing stage. So the first thing that's caught my eye on this car immediately is the amount of road rash that's hit these inside side skirts here. It's no surprise and unfortunately they haven't been PPF'd so it has chipped the paint. There are four number plate screw holes which I don't know why someone would do that but it's another thing we need to look out for on the polishers. Also this dirt line on the back from where the number plate's been, it hasn't been cleaned in so long. The dirt, as you can see, is just ground into the paintwork. So we're gonna be taking care of that with the polishes for sure. Now the general condition of the paint was very swirly, which is sort of to be expected really. And there were a few deeper scratches along the line as well. There were also more areas on the car where there was a lot of ground in dirt that's gonna to have to be taken care of with the polishes as it just doesn't come off in the wash stage. Now in terms of the wheels, they were very curbed and paint was flaking off of them as well so we decided to hold fire on coating those. So after the paint inspection, there's nothing really major to report, just the odd scuff, a lot of swirls, and ground in dirt in the nooks and crannies of the car. But right now it's about quarter to six, so I'm gonna head home and we will get to the paint correction in the morning. See you then. So I've just walked in this morning and I have to show you how glossy she's looking after the coating is cured.
So given the schedule this week, I'm not gonna be able to show you the after shots of the car with the wheels on this week. But if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.